Hello students. In the last video, we looked at a brief introduction to the theorem of Pythagoras, also known as a Pythagorean theorem. Now, before we can go on and explore the Pythagorean theorem a bit further, we first have to divert for a bit and look at uh, some different types of numbers. And in particular, we're going to look at what are called rational numbers and what are called irrational numbers. Now, rational numbers are any number, or a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, as an integer over an integer. So, for example, one half is a rational number because it can be written as one over two. Um, because integers are negative, we could also have a fraction such as negative three over five as a rational number. Now, whole numbers are rational numbers. Whoops, let me fix that. Whole numbers are rational numbers because they can be written as fractions. For example, 3 over 1. Mixed numbers are rational numbers because they can be written as improper fractions. What we call terminating decimals that have a fixed number of decimal places are rational numbers. For example, 1.345 can be written as 1,345 over 1,000. Repeating decimals such as 0 0.333 recurring or repeating well, that can be written as one third so that's a rational number and even more complicated repeating um, decimals such as 0 0.142857 142857 repeating well that can be written as one seventh so all of those are examples of rational numbers Irrational numbers, it turns out, cannot be written exactly as a fraction, as an integer over an integer. And if you try to write out an irrational number as a decimal, it doesn't terminate and it doesn't repeat forever. So what sort of numbers are irrational? Well, probably the most common, ir commonly known irrational number is the square root of 2. So when you try to write out the square root of 2 as a decimal, here's what you get. 1.414213562323, etc. And if you look at the digits, the first 1,000 digits of the square root of 2, it doesn't terminate. It keeps going on, and there's no patent to that. So therefore, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Another example is pi. If you try to write out pi as a decimal, you get 3.141592.6, etc. It doesn't terminate. And if you look at the uh, digits of pi here, you can't see a pattern to it. So square root of 2 and pi are probably the two most commonly known irrational numbers. Now, if you take all of the rational numbers, such as the um, sorry, such as one half or three quarters. And all the irrational numbers, such as the square root of 2 and pi, you end up with a set of numbers that we call the real numbers. So the real numbers are simply all of the rational numbers combined with all of the irrational numbers. And for most of you in high school, the only numbers that you'll come across are the real numbers. In Queensland, we have a subject called Mathematics C. And if you end up studying that in year 11 and year 12, you'll learn about some other types of numbers called complex numbers. So what are the real numbers? Well, the rational numbers is an example, a half and 19 over, sorry, 17 over 97 are examples of rational numbers. Terminating decimals are rational numbers. Some square roots can be rational numbers, those that are square roots of perfect squares. So the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 25 is 5. And as we know, whole numbers are also rational numbers. And finally, if you have repeating de uh, decimals such as 0 0.3 recurring or 0 0.2345 recurring, they're all examples of rational numbers. Irrational numbers are square roots of numbers that aren't perfect squares, such as the square root of 2 and square root of 26. And uh, pi is an example of an irrational number. 
So what I'd like you to do now is to stop the video and just on a piece of paper in your exercise book, from this list of numbers at the bottom of the page, I'd like you to write down or list all of the rational numbers and list all of the irrational numbers. Okay, so stop the video and have a go, please. Okay, well, hopefully you've done that and you've um, um, listed the numbers. Let's see how you went. Well, whole numbers are examples, is an example of a rational number. Zero is a whole number, so it goes into the rational numbers. Pi, we said a few minutes ago, is irrational. Square root of two, we said was irrational. Repeating decimals, the dot, dot, dot means that it's repeating. So that's a rational number. Even this one here repeats. It takes a while for it to get into the pattern, but once it gets to the 67, 5.325676767 recurring, that can be written as an exact fraction, integer over integer. Terminating decimals are rational numbers. Square root 144, well, 144 is a perfect square because that's the square of 12. So that's an example of a rational number. There's another terminating decimal. Square root of 9 is this, um, equal to exactly 3, so that's a rational number. Square root of 143, well, there's no number squared that gives you 143, so that's an example of an irrational number. And then a tricky one, the square root of 16 over 9, well, it turns out that can be uh, changed to the square root of 16 over the square root of 9. Square root of 16 is 4, square root of 9 is 3, so that turns out to be equal to 4 thirds. You might want to try that on your calculator. And it turns out, therefore, that's also a rational number. Okay, well, we'll stop there. And in the next video, we'll look at square numbers, in particular ones that cannot be written as exact, um, exact, perfect, exact uh, perfect squares.